In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to add HBAR to your Ledger Nano X. It's a very simple process, so make sure to follow along. All that you have to do to set up a Hedera or HBAR account with your Ledger is to first make sure that your Ledger Live application is updated to the latest version available. By having the latest version available of Ledger Live, you are going to ensure that you don't encounter any issues while setting up an HBAR account. You can also go ahead and update the firmware. Once again, this is to ensure that no issues are going to happen while setting up your Hedera. After you are done updating Ledger Live and the firmware of your Ledger Nano X, all that you have to do is download the Hedera or HBAR app. So go into the app catalog and look for this application as you can see on screen, Hedera and in parentheses HBAR. Once you download the latest version available of this application through the app catalog, you will be able to set up a Ledger wallet after your Hedera account is created and set up. All that you have to do is click on accounts at the left side of the screen and then add account at the top right. Immediately you will be able to choose from the drop down menu which account you would like to add to your ledger. Choose Hedera or HBAR from the drop down menu and it is going to appear on the list of accounts that you have. You might have to do this setup on your ledger device so if needed follow the instructions on screen and make sure that everything is synchronized through your actual ledger Nano X. Once you are done, you can name this wallet and like I said, it is going to appear under your accounts. Click on the Hedera or HBAR account that you have just set up and you will see all the options in there. You have all of your transactions and the button to send or receive the asset at the top. I hope I was able to help you on how to add HBAR to your Ledger Nano X. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more quick and easy tips. Thank you for watching.